out! Get me out! Help! Help! No! 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 Can you hear me? I'm... and I'm so glad that you're up. Navigate her through the darkness of the space. And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. Your systems are rebooting now. But first, keep your eyes open. The mission. So let's and take you home. First, you need to find me. Just look for a pit. I'm a goddess living in their water. The lady of the lake. In the Don't trust anybody except me. Took an ex I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go, and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the ascended. So how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you anyway? I am Multis. Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now, we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like, now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to... We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So, I can't die? If you'd allowed me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver, our regular naming proto- What? No, my name is... 
Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name- Enough! We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But- Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat! Can't you see they're obviously getting a raw deal here? Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here. Like finding our spaceship, and getting out of here? Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship. Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. Um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, oh, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? K True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now! <laughs> Same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right, so you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on, can't we just... Last of the Ori crew. Oh, lowly. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Loaded. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meagre self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right, that dreamy, glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No, it certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, 
but I can tell the limits of my pupils, and I will make you die with some dignity, not just by accidentally frying yourself. Let me know when you're ready. I'll provide you with one lucky spar rat. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above, easy to spot. Equip yourself there and come back. for sword? Talking rats? Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me... They send pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal, but master picks. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How do you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it's easy. The same for complementary shield. Complementary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did. Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. Naboru took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another. And go train with other pups. Hope you'll be better than they. What did you mean by messy masters? They seemed rather strict and uptight. I not say that. Master's good, yes? Not say one thing, doing another. Help me out here. Are big rats capable of ironing? Are you trying to tell me something, you rat thing? Big rats, big iron. We like iron, yes. We make iron nice and sharpy and pointy to slice and stab. You will see. Tobias will see. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that sounded like a threat to Tobias. No, no, no threat. I not say. Shh. But Tobias not nice to us. We not like Tobias. He tortures. He kills. He proud of that. I swear on fiery prophet Amarvius, he bad. Oh. And here he seemed quite friendly to me. Maybe because you're not under our skin. What? You have no fur. Oh, right.
sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly, but mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats, like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. Let's commence with your lesson. Rule one, blows are best to be avoided. Perception and planning. Rule two, if you can't avoid a blow, Use your shield for protection. That's it. Learning by doing and dying is my credo. Just don't forget to use your sword to deliver the execution. Hey, convict! Execution time. Curious style, but you have delivered results. Let us proceed. This one took part in the previous uprising. It is strong, vicious, has the blood of many innocents on its paws. Looks clumsy, but beware. They have trained him well. Who did? That ratkin renegade scum, hiding in this stinking volcano, killing our kin. They all deserve to be executed. Start with this one. Learn as much as you can in the process. Yeah, sounds like a great learning experience. Use all the skills you've acquired in the previous sparring session and focus on using the rolls to avoid stronger attacks. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. I don't really feel like taking lives, but it's not like I have a real say in this. Let's get this over with. Move. I said move, you overgrown rat. Silver, I see you're still trying to pick your own destiny. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, you fail miserably at surviving while doing so. I would suggest focusing on following the training protocol instead. Rest assured that Tobias will get you prepared, possibly. Duly noted. I would also suggest rejoining him immediately by using the door by your left hand. Duly noted.
feel rejuvenated. That serves that child-eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livil soon. What cradle? And who is Livil? Oh, lowly. Me and my premature informing. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. I might actually like to know what we are training for. Like, is it just for your personal vendetta? Is there a war going on or what? You're training to stay alive. That's all I usually say. I appreciate your spirit though, so uh, I'll be up front. You can't die. Such is the power of your belt. But do you see those rat pests around? Some of them got away and went wild. They started a strange fire cult. They hunted our people for meat and nibbled them alive, even children. Or especially children. You know, tender meat, juicy bones. My niece disappeared like that. Sorry for your loss. How old was she? Not important. The rats are abominations. We suspect they might attack. I suppose you don't want to be served on a skewer any time soon. They could gnaw your meat, piece by piece, and let the missing bits grow back. It might take weeks before you would die and be reborn. So, yes, you train to stay alive, but also undigested. And to help others keep their bodies intact too. So, do your best even though probably it won't be enough. Fantastic. You are back again, Master. They sent me to- Yes, Master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Fink and Durg. Bratris, just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Need more help? Like with your... guilty conscience? From what Tobias says, it seems that your free kindred kidnapped and ate his little niece. Why should I help child murderers? He liar. We have big teeth, Naboru fear. But we prefer vegetables. Tobias just spreading lies about our kin. He just hit everybody because he lost his hand in war. He happy we his slaves, and he can pester us. Hold on right there. I thought you work here as servants. Servants? Are you blind? 
Maybe they call us servants, but we slaves. Tobias tortures and kills. He laughing when put in color for leash with fiery iron on our neck, master. Well, you could always fight back, right? Or at least stand up for yourself somehow. If you unleash your full potential, those are some pretty sharp teeth you've got there. Teeth sharp and strong, but leash too strong. I do not know how to fight, master. We scrub floors and fix meals and garden and give weapons. We not know another life. We want justice. Well, that sounds shitty. Let me get to know the ropes around here and I'll try and see what we can do about the tortures kill situation. Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do. Hey man, sorry about that little show with Petra. Women, you know. Feelings, irrational tempers. Normally we're, we're really tight, you know. Hey, no worries. I'm not here to judge you. Great. Honestly, I feel enough pressure already. Anyway, I suppose you have plenty of questions. Yeah. Too bad, because I don't have many answers. I guess the Keepers do, Moltis and his boys. But they prefer to keep for themselves. So... I just focus on the training. What do you know about those belts we have? Maltus didn't tell me much. Well, I know they do work. I've died quite a few times already, and look at me, up and running. The same goes for Petra and Marco. It seems that dying is the human thing to do here. 
I'd say nothing human is alien to me, but this has alien written all over it. Yeah, but why worry about it when it works? Better than being dead, that's what I say. I think Petra tried to fiddle with the belts, but didn't find out anything useful. She should have spent that time training. Practice makes perfect, you know. But she just keeps complaining about killing the rats instead. If you ask me, you can't make a good training omelet without breaking a few necks, right? What's the point of all that practice and perfection? Well, I don't know. The Naboru are good at keeping their secrets secret. Well, Tobias told me the Ratkins will eat us alive over and over if we don't train. Is that true? If he says so, uh, I would believe him. The, the rats do look vicious, but honestly, I have no idea. They never told me that. Moltis just bosses me around with no answers, and, and the only thing that Tobias has been willing to share with me so far is their swordplay skills. He does have a lot to pass on there, I must give him that. He might be an old guy, but he can teach you a lot. Really? Don't let the looks and the attitude fool you. He's tough as a rock, that fellow. From what I've gathered, he, he fought in some war with those stinky giant rats they keep around as servants. He lost his right hand in battle, he claims, then killed another dozen of them single-handedly. Very dry sense of humor, that guy, and sharp as attack. If you can keep up with him, he'll get you trained in no time. What if I'm not into fencing? Is there anything more useful to do around here? Any lakes, for instance? Like to swim and keep fit? Lakes? That's a weird question. Is it? Well, I had this vision, and... Never mind, it's probably nothing. Ah, a, a vision. Well, lucky you. I guess I... I certainly didn't have anything like that. Nope. Only scattered memories that make no sense whatsoever. But hey, no worries, we're all equally lost here. No voice inside our head to guide us or whatever. Anyway, if there was anything else to do, I'm certain the Naboru would tell us. It seems that it's in their best interest to prepare us for whatever is coming. Any idea what that would be? As I've told you, I don't have many answers. Another war with those annoying rats would be my first guess. Maybe they've told Marco something. They seem to trust him most. They gave him those high-quality swords and promised him a bright, flashy future. Anyway, given how disturbed they seem recently, I'd say we'll find out soon enough. Why don't you ask Marco, then? How to put that? Well, Marco certainly has a lot of skills. People skills are not among them. I would rely on him when it comes to killing. Other than that, he's a bit... too much. You'd probably have better luck with Maltus himself, but still, I wouldn't keep your hopes high. Well, I'll have to take your word on that. I'm still figuring out the ins and outs of this mess. I should probably really carry on with that training thing. Thanks for all your input. No problem. We're in this together. Hey. Hey, stranger. Sorry about Brian. How did the training go? How are you feeling? Happy to be immortal? And what do you make of all this? Whoa, can we take those one at a time? I'm still kind of trying to figure this place out. Oh yes, sorry. I know I can be a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> but hey, no worries. I know that feeling all too well. What do you remember? For me, there was light. And then this ugly, mushy face of some kind, then a fast flash, or maybe a reflection. And pain. And that's it. All my memories. Super hazy. How about you? Yeah, I remember some woman screaming, and then something killed me, I guess. Sounds a bit similar to yours, actually. Which is weird. That Maltus guy told me that mine was only a hallucination. Maybe a collective one, then. <laughs> no, I am serious. This might mean he knows more than he says. Well, he surely knows more, but he's also not telling. Believe me, I have tried. I guess that's the real reason the Whiteys call themselves the Keepers. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and ask him. Well, have fun. Good news, though. He probably won't kill you. I mean, just for asking. <laughs> probably, yeah. He wouldn't get his hands dirty. 
He has to buy us for killing us softly. At least we can't really die now. Well, that's also something I'm still quite lost about. Could you tell me a bit more about how this immortality thing works? Yeah, I wish I could. So far, it's only the things I've learned the hard way. You die, you get revived. I have no idea why that happens and how. I also know it's the reason why the training in this place sucks so much. They don't spare us, and dying over and over isn't exactly fun. I can imagine. I felt like shit when I woke up. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, there is no way to remove that thing or turn it off. The tech behind it must be fascinating. I would love to have some time alone with decent power tools and an immortal volunteer. You know, do a full disassembly. Interested? Full disclosure, I'm not sure if the reassembly would be possible, since you might be dead, so... Yeah, that's a no from me. Sorry. No hard feelings. I'll find someone one day. <laughs> well, that's all I know. But I don't remember much in general. Well, I'm also quite blank when it comes to what happened before I woke up. Not a single bit of useful memories you could share? Oh, not really, no. The Keepers must think I'm dumb as a rock. Funny, because my name Petra actually means rock in- Latin. I know. Oh, yes, right. I'm impressed. So, what's the story with your name? I mean, Silver. Seriously? They say that's what I had written on me. A bit tacky, but it's growing on me. Well, honestly, I kind of dig it. It's much cooler than Petra. Probably cooler than the names of everybody else. Ah yes, everybody else. Any gossip I should catch on with? Well, you've pretty much met everyone. It's mostly me and Brian. And no worries, normally he doesn't have his head all the way up his ass. You'll get along just fine. Unlike with the asshole Marco, he's just the worst. I would keep away from him if I were you. Why? I honestly think he's lost his marbles. He has super reflexes and is a fast learner. I must give him that. That's why he quickly became a bit of a teacher's pet. And because Maltus gave him some fancy swords, he now thinks he's something better. And he's totally eyeing that magic wand Tobias has. Yeah, a magic wand. Sure. Of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a rod, some kind of advanced tech. Project some kind of lightning. Haven't seen anything quite like it. Would love to spend a little time with it in the shop. You can get a peek in that weird shriney place right behind Tobias. Whatever makes it tick, it's a pretty damn effective weapon. Marco has only found himself on the wrong end of it so far during the practice sessions with Tobias. But he is literally dying to get his hands on it first, since he was the first one here. Ah, interesting. So, how long have you been here? Just a few weeks, pretty much like everybody else. Marco got here just a few days earlier. I have no idea how long the Whiteys want to keep us here, but they seem a bit stressed the last few days. So I guess something's about to go down. What would that be? Honestly, no idea. Maybe that vague ascension thing they keep mentioning? Maybe a war? Who knows? I just hope we'll make it out in one piece. Did you try running away? The security in this place seems to be, well, just some thick walls. Not even thick-headed guards. What would be the point? We have talked about it with Brian. We don't know anything about this planet yet. And if somebody is willing to teach us something useful for free and feed us in the process... How do you know they're not just using you? Well, Brian believes they aren't. I have my doubts, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Don't get me wrong, it's not exactly a holiday camp, and I absolutely hate training. But it seems like the only reasonable thing to do in this situation. Did a pest problem get out of hand around here? I have never seen rats this big. Are they walking on their hind legs all the time? They are fascinating, right? 
They keep to themselves, nice and obedient, perfect servants. I believe the whiteys are just abusing them. I mean, they might not be super smart. Who, whiteys? No, rats, you silly. <laughs> anyway, they sure do have feelings, and I believe they should be treated with greater dignity. So this is what that quarrel with Brian was about? Yeah, he just doesn't understand. What's wrong with you men, anyway? He's simply happy to butcher them by the dozens. Well, Tobias said they were trying to show them civilized ways, but their animal brains couldn't grasp things like order and justice. They are not animals, Silver. There's something more. I'm trying to figure out if they're a domesticated natural species, or if they were genetically engineered to be this tame. And? My guess is natural. Who would breed such things? It's just a hunch, though. No scientific backing for my hypothesis. If you find out anything yourself, I'm all ears. The rats are not what they seem. Oh? That sounds deep and stupid at the same time. Did you find out if they are natural or mutants? Not really. Something more disturbing. Tobias says some of them got away and are plotting to kill us. Does he? That's more than he ever told me. I highly doubt that, though. From what I've gathered so far, they seem harmless. Well, I'm just saying it might be a bit more complex than we thought. Noted. Thanks. I'll keep observing them. This might sound weird, but I kind of like you. So I will just give it my best shot. Oh, <laughs> I'm all ears. Well, any ladies around here? Ouch! <laughs> you mean apart from me? Well, that came out wrong, didn't it? I had this vision, you know. There was this, I don't know, entity called itself Lady of the Lake. Oh, like from the old legends? Yeah, but she looked all shiny. Like some sort of robot. Huh. Shiny. Yeah. Curious. I mean, no. Doesn't really ring a bell. And I haven't heard the whiteys talking about any ladies, nor lakes. Well, never mind. The message was all distorted anyway. Noisy, grainy, and glitchy. Didn't make any sense. That's strange. Maybe there's something wrong with your belt then. Curious that you'd bring that up. That's also what Maltus said. But how would the belt and the vision be connected? Uh, me and my technical brain. Always jumping to conclusions. Just forget I said anything. It's probably nonsense anyway. Right. I guess when it comes to ladies, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, ladies and their secrets. So, I have some sort of sword now and a shitty shield. Anything I should know about this training thing? Well, you're all set and ready, I guess. I can't wait to see how cute you will be. Oh, and just try to steer clear of Marco.
You bring medicine for injured Bractors? So, that medical kit? Yes, Master. Master brings? I think I told you to stop calling me that. Sorry, Master. This is all I could get. Will that do? Yes, Master. Thank you. Will save many burned and mutilated. And look what I accidentally find. May it make you stronger than messy masters. So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody equal. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Rat. Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Shh. Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. 